Injuries for the game, Matt Wright will be out. Jake Moody will be out. Jawan Jennings will be out. Kevin Givens, questionable. Um, Luter, questionable. And Ricky will be um, activated full go. What does that just mean for the spirit of the team to have Ricky back in uniform and on the field? Uh, I mean, the guys are pumped. I mean, it, he's been around the guys for a while now, so it's not like we, he hasn't been around. Uh, but practicing all week, uh, it's been great to see him out there. I think the guys were more real happy for him um, that he could get back and be a part of it. And he's had a hell of a week, and we're just pumped to get him out there with us. You mentioned he was a little winded on Monday practice. And how was he now? Great. I mean, we were, we were going, we were doing a walkthrough, and he was winded. So I, I don't think it was winded as in um, stamina. It was more, I think he was so excited to be out on the field and stuff and things like that. And um, I, right after we say that, because I had him break the team down, and he was a little out of breath, but I think it was more excitement than winded since we hadn't broke a sweat yet. But he was awesome. What can he do at this stage? Special teams, return punts, just play receiver? Like at this, you know, just this early stage, what would you feel comfortable with? Um, whatever he's needed at. I mean, he's got... He's got roles on special teams. He's got a role as a receiver, and we'll see how the game unfolds. But I mean, he's healthy and ready to go. Okay. You're good. Uh, because he, um, you know, he didn't get much training camp, and obviously he hasn't had as much until now. I mean, do you have to, you know, have a snap count or some sort of workload limit? For him? Um, yeah, but we don't look. I mean, you only get so many guys up, so I mean, you put guys in what they're ready for. But you, you know, it's always hard with the snap count. You know, on, when it's not a preseason game and things like that, but um, Ricky's been studying. He's beginning a ton of stuff. I know he'll get better as the year goes, so we understand that with our expectations and everything. Um, missing all the practice, missing some time makes it harder just schematically and everything getting out of the huddle, but he's working his butt off to catch up. He's gotten better each day, and uh, I know he'll get better each week. Would, um, <clears throat> would he be up if, if Jennings was good to go? Yes. Jordan Mason, everything's good to go. Good to go with him, even though limited all week. Or he's not today. He's he's full on Sunday. Full. How how we work the kicker situation? You guys, I see some gymnastics roster wise. Um yeah, uh, Matt Wright will end up going on IR. Yeah, he's hurt worse than we expected. Um so he can't get back. And Jake Moody is still week to week, it's high ankle sprain. So I'm not expecting him next week either. But hopefully after the bye. Uh, yes. Um, it definitely is allowed to. It's, but only in case of emergency. Um, so I hope he isn't attacking anything. But if your choice is just to give up a touchdown or not, we'll always choose to not give up that touchdown. But hopefully he can stay out of harm's way. Was uh, Josh Dobbs the, uh, the scout team quarterback during the week? Uh, both of them were. Yeah. So no, no change, number two, number three, for this, this coming game? No. Uh uh. Just for housekeeping purposes, the activation for Pearsall will happen tomorrow. Does all that stuff happen on Saturday, or does that? Uh, I believe it'll happen tomorrow. Those are things I don't totally worry about, as long as someone does it right. I think that tomorrow by one o'clock is when we got to do it, so I'm sure it'll be then. Kyle, uh, this is a super talented defense, but they also do a lot of very physical at the line. They clutch and they grab. As far as explosives, how? What's the challenge like this week to try to get explosives against this team? Uh, I mean, it's a huge challenge. I don't know what they're ranked right now, um, but they were at the tops last year, and I know they're at the tops this year. So it's, I mean, it's their physicality, it's their back end, it's their backers, it's their scheme, um, it's their continuity of how long they played together. Uh, there's not a lot of holes in their defense. There's not a lot of weak areas. You know, they're good versus the run, they're good versus the pass. They're really good in the red zone and really good on third down. So and we've got our work cut out for us. When was Ricky told that he would be up, and did you deliver the news? What was his reaction? No, I wish I... I don't know if anyone delivered the news. I wish I could give you guys a better story. Um, but I think you know he looked good on Monday. He looked even better on Wednesday. And so we kept repping him. And when you're repping guys like that, and I think he understood he was going to be up. And so I don't, there was no magical moment. But you can ask him. You said on Friday that you expected a longer ramp up. And then you also said, when he's ready, he's ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I didn't. I didn't want to go in him thinking like, man, I got to show everybody this on day one, um, day two, because they're waiting, because they're trying to put me up right away. So there was no expectation in that way. I just wanted to see him. We hadn't seen him out there in a while, going with the team. And Monday, I didn't even really count just because it was so walk through and everything. But um, Wednesday, he looked great, and Thursday was even better. And today, he's even more comfortable. So made the decision pretty easy. Uh, 
hidden increasing long term? Uh, no, I don't think it's long term. You know, I, I hope he'll be ready for next week. You know, um, he was close this week. You know, so I'm hoping to get him back next week. All right, guys.